Well, you know, income, as we all know, you earn an income. And, you know, that's an important part of economic um, well-being. But wealth is actually your assets. You know, what do you actually own? What do you, what do you have as, an, as assets? Um, and what's your actual net worth, if you will? And so, you know, you can have an income, but if you don't have ways of taking that income and translating that into wealth and assets, um, then, you know, it really does change your uh, outcome. So, you know, as an example here, we look at things like, um, you know, whether or not people have more than three months worth of ability to last if their income was, was cut off. And if you look at uh, African American and Latinx communities, two thirds or almost 70% of those households, if they had an incident where their income was cut off, they couldn't survive, they wouldn't be able to pay their bills, they wouldn't be able to have, uh, you know, pay for food, rent, et cetera, for more than three months. So that's what we call liquid acid poverty. And if you start looking at wealth versus income, you, you recognize how important it is to have some assets so that you have uh, a buffer against some of the, you know, uh, the issues that we all face.